All right, viewers, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at this 2014 Toyota IQ 1 litre VVTi 2. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the Toyota IQ. We'll start it up, show the engine, as well as show you around the interior, as well as exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to give a big thanks to the Llandudno Junction Car Centre, located in Llandudno Junction, North Wales, for allowing me to come out and film this car. For more information regarding current inventory and contact info, please check out their link in the description below. And so, without further ado, let's get it started up and let it run. This vehicle does come equipped with keyless entry. It's unlocked at the moment. It's a lock. All you have to do is tap the marked patches on each of the door handles. Then after waiting a second to unlock, just touch the back of the handle. It's a red exterior, also known as Super Red. with two-tone black and grey cloth interior. Fars right up. Has just under 21,000 miles on the clock. Leather wrapped steering wheel. With side grip extensions. And flat bottom design. CVT transmission. And we'll go ahead and turn on the automatic headlamps, front and rear fog lamps, and the hazards. Both the windows are automatic, and we'll go and check out the exterior, shall we? Fifteen inch wheels. I've been meaning to do a Toyota IQ for a while. I think it's quite a cool looking city car. Some of the secrets to its smallness 
include the fuel tank which is buried underneath the seats. It's very shallow and very long. And also the differential and the transmission are located at the front of the engine which frees up more space inside. Also you can get it badged as an Aston Martin and that's called the Aston Martin Signet. Also in America they call it the Scion IQ. Let me know what you think of the looks of this car in the comments below. Personally, I quite like it. I remember on an old Top Gear episode where they featured three small city cars, James May drove one, and he drove it around the track with a St Bernard on the passenger seat. Not exactly the right kind of car for a big dog like that. Has a one litre three cylinder engine, puts out 68 brake horsepower, does not to 60 in 15 seconds and has a top speed of 93 miles an hour. Power locks, power windows, manual seats with side airbags. Power mirrors. Forgot to mention the fuel cap release. Silly me. Anyway, let's go ahead and hear how she sounds. Does sound pretty good. Not bad at all. Simple to use climate control.
Gun speed. Temperature. Different zones. Front defrost, rear defrost, AC on and off, recycling, off altogether, and one touch automatic. As far as the radio goes, it's all controlled by this little knob on the steering wheel. Decent sounding audio system. Preset options. Traffic announcements. Sound settings. And so on. It's very simple to use. Trip computer. CD player. Power outlet. Traction control. And auxiliary input. Auto dimming rear view mirror. I've got the visor down just to reduce the glare. How about that viewers? It's my lucky day. <laughs> Never expected to find that in the sun visor. Yeah, this is a horrible Absolutely amazing vehicle. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? My mistake viewers, I thought you would be able to get into the back on the driver's side. But I've just noticed this catch here on the passenger side. Silly me.
Not exactly ideal for backseat passengers. Think you're better off folding the back seats down and just having a big boot. In fact, we'll pop this seat back up just so we can see what it's like in the back. Just ignore this luggage cover that clips into place. Just about got enough room back here. Well viewers, that concludes it for this in-depth tour of this 2014 Toyota IQ. Big thanks to the Llandino Junction Car Centre for allowing me to come and film it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. And peace out.